the Instapot with Poonam. It's officially summer. The kids are outside playing with water balloons and garden hoses and um, I'm inside and I decided um, that we were going to do a um, Back to Roots series. So we're going to be doing Gujarati food uh, for a little while and so today's uh, first video is going to be Kamar. Uh, it's one of the most requested things that we've seen. Um, we're kind of doing the Back to Roots series because a lot of people have been requesting Gujarati food. So here it is. So we're going to do Kamarn today. Uh, and I think it's going to be a really exciting one because a lot of people love to eat this. They just don't know how to approach it. Um, and the traditional way is not so much fun either. So we thought we would put it in the Instant Pot and show you guys how to do it so you can enjoy it. Um, so let's go ahead and run through the ingredients so you know what you need and also the, what um, tools you'll need to make it. Um, so we have some chickpea flour, which is janana lot. Um, we have some rye. Uh, we have ara, the turmeric. We have salt, sugar, and ino. Now, some of my Indian counterparts probably know what this is, but if you've never heard of it, um, it's something that we use to help uh, make the texture more fluffy. Uh, when we're making things like kamarn or even dukra, they use it in that as well. Um, we have lemon juice, chilies, and shredded ginger, as well as some shredded coconut. And we have some cilantro for garnish later on, and we'll show you how that kind of plays into this. Um, oil and some water in here and also there's some extra water in here um, for us to get started with the dish and then also I have a um, pre-oiled pan that we're gonna put inside for your instant pot you're gonna need the little rack so make sure you have that handy when you're making this dish also um, I told you I'm going back to my roots but I have one of my handy dandy tools in the kitchen to help me um, insert the tray as well as take it out. Um, if you don't have one, that's fine. You can make a foil um, sling like we've done in our past videos um, and that will be just sufficient enough. So you don't need to worry about if you don't have this tool. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna need a bowl and whisk too, so make sure you have that. So let's go ahead and get started. You're first gonna turn your Instant Pot to saute mode. Um, you're gonna keep your rack inside, but you're gonna go ahead and put it in saute mode. And you're going to um, go ahead and pour water into this, uh, the bottom of it. And basically you're helping to create some steam. So you're just putting the water in, heating it up, so you can create that steam for um, when we put the cummer in. And then you're going to take your greased tray and put it on top. You're just going to leave it. And it'll heat up on its own and the, you'll start seeing the steam from the water. Now, what you're going to do now is take your chana flour. as well as your water. And then all your your um, seasonings, you're gonna put everything in there. The only thing you're not going to put right now while we mix all of this is the eno. We're gonna leave that on the side over there. We have the lemon juice, the chilies and um, ginger, and you're gonna mix that up. And you're gonna mix it to where it's very smooth. All right, everybody, so we went ahead and stirred um, all the ingredients together except for the eno, and you wanna make sure that it's pretty smooth without any lumps. So now, um, one tip when you're making the cummer is make sure there's steam coming out of the pot before you put any of your batter into the tray. So you can see that the steam is coming up, so that's a really good indicator that you're ready to go um, to load it in there. So you're gonna take your eno, you're gonna dump it in, and you're going to stir it for a minute or so until it gets kind of foamy and you can tell that it is already doing that. So just kind of mix it up real good. And then um, we're good to go. So we're going to put this um, into the tray. I love watching it foam up. All right, so you're now gonna go ahead and turn off um, the saute mode and go to steam. And you're gonna go to 15 minutes. And as soon as the timer goes off, you're going to quick release. So we're gonna close this up. Oh, safety check, sorry about that. Make sure your ring is in all the way. Mine is. So we're gonna close this up. 
and make sure you close your vent and we'll come back when the timer comes off. Uh, remember, once, once the timer goes off, we're gonna quick release. So we'll come back and show you what that looks like. All right, everybody, so the timer went off. Remember, it was a quick release, so we released the steam out. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and open the lid. And then you're gonna take your little utensil and take it out. It's nice and soft. And you're gonna let this cool. So you're not gonna do anything with this now. You're gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes or so. And then we're gonna, um, while we wait for it to cool down, we're gonna go and temper the um, topping for this so that we can finish off the cumarin and we can actually go and eat some. So I'll show you how that looks in just a second. All right, everybody. So while the um, cumarin is cooling down, this is how I do the actual tempering part for the topping. So you're gonna take some oil and just heat it up. Make sure you have a lid to protect any um, rye from coming out. So you're gonna take the rye. Now my oil is heated up. I'm gonna increase the heat a bit. So you're gonna take the rye and you're gonna dump it into the oil. And you're just gonna let it sizzle for a second. Okay, everybody, so I went ahead and turned the stove off. You kinda know when the rye is done, when the um, popping slows down. And so we brought the oil over. We've let the cumin cool down. And then you're gonna just take that tempered oil and just kind of drizzle it on top. And you can smell it, it smells so yummy. All right, so the next step is to just take your coconut, add it as a topping. And the next little bit is gonna be um, some cilantro. It's so yummy. So you can eat this for like brunch. You can have it with your chai in the morning. It's just a really yummy snack to have. Great comfort food. But look how pretty that looks. Um, and all in the Instant Pot. Who knew? You remember my mom making cumarin and it was like this big process. And now you don't have to do that. So I'm glad that you joined on the Back to Root series. Um, I hope you do try the cumarin. For everyone that requested it, please send us your pictures of you trying it um, and letting us know how it works out for you. Um, but I'm so excited to go eat, so I'm going to go. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching the Back to Roots um, Cumarin video. I hope you do enjoy it and try it. Make sure you reference the videos on the left if you're curious and want to know what else you can do. Um, also, make sure you hit that red and wide button down at the bottom. It's free to subscribe. And make sure you go to our website to find the recipes for everything.